Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Jasmine and Isabella here. How are you guys? I hope you guys are doing well, because I'm doing great. So today I have a Morphe unboxing video. Jazz hands, you know? Jasmine does the jazz hands. <laughs> okay, so like I said, a Morphe unboxing video. This is actually the first time that I do like a makeup related video on my channel and the first time that I order from Morphe. I watch YouTube a lot like I watch beauty gurus I watch like I watch everything on YouTube and when I'm watching a beauty guru video like Jacqueline Hill or I'm watching Jeffree Star or Jenny 69 or you know Annette or whatever all those girls um, a lot of them talk about Morphe 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 and I've always been hesitant to try them just because I was like isn't Morphe like drugstore kind of so I was always skeptical about it and I'm like these girls are probably just promoting it because they have a code a coupon code and they're getting some money off of it so first of all I'm not really into makeup like that and second like I said when someone just promotes something a lot I'm, I tend to stay away from that because a lot of the time reviews are bought and Nowadays, you can't trust anybody with all this drama in the beauty community. <laughs> like I said, um, I've never bought for Morphe, and the only reason I bought for Morphe was because I wanted to try the Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection, even though it's had, you know, it was, it received some negative reviews from PR packages. It had really bad reviews. Some were saying it was patchy, and some were saying that it was inconsistent. And sometimes um, a lot of people were saying like when you had the um, shadow like it would just disappear and well I had to buy it for myself and try it out and I was like I could try Morphe this time so I went ahead and I ordered and I have my order right here oh and by the way I forgot to mention those of you that are subscribed to me know something's different so I went out and I bought myself tela or like fabric from downtown LA, Los Callejones, and I have this beautiful backdrop. I only bought two because my old setup was like super plain and it was just like my couch and pillows and not even nice pillows, okay? So I was like, my apartment's too bland. I need to season it a little bit. All right guys, so I have my box right here. Oh, I hope you guys can see my address. Oh no, it's on the other side. So I have my box right here. And first thing first, I ordered the day of the vault collection launch at, what was it, 9, 8 a.m.? I ordered it five minutes later. Tell me why this package took a full week to arrive. I know like shipping was free if you spend a certain amount but I, I didn't expect I didn't expect for it to take that long you know so whatever I got it a week later um, but when it arrives it arrived just in time because I was gonna go to Vegas and if you haven't already go see the Airbnb house tour it was such a beautiful house anyway back to the unboxing so the box was open I cheated a little um, like I said, I didn't have time to record this video before I went to Vegas and I definitely wanted to take a palette from the Jacqueline Hill Vault Collection with me to Vegas. So I was like, <laughs> I didn't have time to film before, but I definitely have time now. So I hope you guys don't mind, like it's partially an unboxing video because I already unboxed it and I'm sorry for that. So first things first, I, I bought four items and Within those four items, I bought a eyelid primer just because like um, I'm trying to get into makeup and I'm I'm trying to play with makeup right now. Like I don't want to go off and buy a high ass and like a very high end eye primer if I'm not going to be able to use it right, you know. So I'm practicing on my makeup right now and I decided this was only, I believe, three bucks. Don't knock me if I'm wrong, but I believe this was three bucks and it comes in this little box um, and then it's just a little tube. There you go. Like I said, it was pretty affordable. I think that was pretty affordable 
and it brings nine milliliters so 0 0.3 ounces and I think that's not bad for what you're paying and and I still have to see if it actually works because at this point honestly I'm not gonna lie to you guys I don't know what an eyelid primer is supposed to do I know it's supposed to prime your lid so like your shadow sticks on better from what I've seen in beauty guru videos oh <laughs> I'm already taking it out of the box but the second thing that I bought was actually a um, Michael Michael a micro brow pencil and it comes in this little box and the only reason I bought this was because I was in need of a new brow pencil because I had brow powder that I bought a while back and it was brown and I did dye my hair it was brown and I did dye my hair darker I dyed, I dyed it jet black um I need to redye it again but so that's why I went with a darker color and I got this in the color double dutch which I, I think was their darkest color I like going more for a natural look but that's just me like right now this look is not natural but I'm stepping out of my comfort zone because I need to learn how to do makeup. So double dutch, I would say on a normal day, I wouldn't wear this because it's super, super black. Like this, I did my eyebrows with it today, but this is me going with a super, like super light hand. It's a super fine tip and I do like, I like that a lot. And then it has a spoolie, which is a super, it's super firm. For $6, I don't think that's bad, That that's good, so. I could always just get the lighter color, but for now, like, I, I think they look decent, you know? I just have to be very careful. Like I told you guys, I'm working on getting into makeup. So I finally bought myself some brushes. Like, yo girl did not have no brushes. Like I said, I'm starting. I don't want to go off and buy some expensive brushes if I don't know how to use them. So I did buy some Morphe brushes because I hear every YouTuber talk about morphe brushes use my discount code you know so i was like you know what what the heck let me let me just buy them because i would like i said i tend to stay away from stuff that's super promoted i don't care it's just like i think like y'all just making money that's that's the only reason you guys are promoting this shit like is it really good or is it because you're getting paid that you're telling me about it you know type of thing so i'm kind of skeptical and i don't go off and buy the, every little thing a youtuber tells me to buy or recommend so that's just me though and so like i said i did go buy some brushes um it came in this little bag i really don't care for the bag but i definitely do not i just noticed it still has a sticker on it <laughs> oh, this set was 24 dollars, and i don't think that's bad at all morphe is set is known for sets of brushes and they definitely did have different brushes this is just what i went with because i'm like let me try them out first, you know? So the reviews were good for this specific bundle and I, it was not a lot of negative reviews. Um, one thing about Morphe though, when I barely got my brushes, I noticed there was a lot of fallout. These two are still in their little, they come like this, but I really, this is like a pencil brush and then this is another like eyeliner or eyebrow brush with a spoolie. And then I haven't used these because I did buy, buy the eyebrow one, so I'm not using this booby. And then they have this, which I'm guessing is a concealer brush. Comment down below if I'm wrong. And then they have this one, it's another flat brush. And then, let me just toss them down here. And then there's this, which I don't know what this is for. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I need to learn what the hell they're for. And then this is, oh, I had this already. This is not even from the collection. That's just what I bought. It's an Ardell. Uh, eyebrow and spoolie I just threw it in here you know and then there's this I believe this is called a what is this called I think this is called a pencil I don't think it's called a pencil but I know this one you use for like if you're trying to highlight and then I want to say these are blending brushes am I wrong or am I right all, all four of these are blending brushes and yes they're dirty because I have played with the with makeup um and then there's another one of these and a flat one i think this is for like um under your eye like your waterline am i correct if you know about makeup please comment down below and be like girl you don't know what you're talking about 
So like I said, I definitely want to get into makeup. So this is the reason why I bought them. It's a start. You know, I'm not a pro at all. At all. I'm not a pro. I'm trying to learn. One day I'll be a pro. Watch. Five years later, I come back and I'm still not a pro. <laughs> Last but not least, I got the Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection. Let me say one thing and one thing first. The packaging is... Oh, the packaging is beautiful. Like... It is beautiful. It is beautiful. Like for 45, no, 49 bucks. This is beautiful. It's a beautiful collection. Still, let me take it out of this packaging. So it does come in a box. And a lot of people were saying, I can talk about this in another, in another video. Because right now I'm just going to show you guys the collection. Like, you know, it's an unboxing video. I'm going to upload a second video swatching these colors. Um, Anyway, so it comes in bubble wrap, it's double the bubble wrap, and then it's like, it comes in this little beautiful box. It's beautiful, like, if the eyeshadow isn't good, the packaging itself is beautiful to display. So it, it does have this little string that you pull and then your shadows come out. And like I said, there's four palettes. This one is, I hope I don't drop them. This one is the Ring the Alarm palette. And I have not used this one at all, which is this, right? Which is this beautiful, so many beautiful colors. I feel like I could do so many looks with this. And then if you guys hear noise, I am so sorry. I live above a church and they make too much noise. They need to go home already. It's already 9 p.m. and they're still making noise. I'm gonna call the cops on them. <laughs> anyway, so this is the Armed and Gorgeous palette. And this is like all oranges. If you like oranges and browns, this one's definitely for you. I believe you could buy them. If you don't want the whole bundle for $49, you could buy them individually for $15 each. And honestly, they all come with mirrors. It's beautiful. I would recommend the bundle. This is the Bling Boss palette. And this one is my, I have used this one. Um, I made a look. And let me tell you, it is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Like, if, there's shimmers. Oh my God, I'm in love with this palette. Like, this palette, if it was a snack, I would eat it. <sighs> this fucking church, man. I come back real quick because the church below me was making too much noise they were singing so they gotta pay me if they want to be in my video <laughs> i don't want to get copyrighted anyway so where was i i was in the last palette and this is dark magic i'm wearing it in my eyes today and i think this is my favorite one just because it's very dark and as you can tell i'm into like dark colors so this is definitely the one that I think I'm gonna use the most, as well as um, Bling Boss. Okay, so this is the Dark Magic Palette. As you can tell, it's already used. Um, so, this is the palette. I wanna talk about it, but I think I need to save that for the next video. I'm gonna be swatching it, because one thing I've noticed using this palette is one thing I've noticed using this palette is the colors are not the same from what I see on YouTube like I follow a tutorial to get this look and I know skin tones have a lot to do with it but one thing I am gonna say is that from this specific palette the dark magic that little olive color it does not appear on my on my lid like it does not appear on my skin and I am not that I don't have a dark complexion I'm fairly light and I'm like 
I look at the video and I'm like, I look at me and I'm like, where is the product? I don't know if you're familiar with the drama that's been happening. So it's very hit and miss with this palette. Like I'm supposed to have an olive color here. I, I put olive in my lid and I don't think you could even see it. I have not had any problems with the shimmers. Like I said, I haven't used all of them. Anyways guys, so that's it for this video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe down below. Give this video a like and comment down below what you want to see next or just comment down below like hey girl i like your backdrop like let me know interact with me you know let me know that that you're watching because i appreciate it so much anyways guys that's it for today i love you bye